Hey there YouTube, time for another episode of Hunt. Ever since Clyde Tombow discovered Pluto back in the year 1930 on February 18th, we believe that we live in a solar system with nine planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. But as of 2006, astronomers decided to remove Pluto from that list of nine planets, giving us only eight. The reason they got rid of Pluto is that it did not meet the three criteria that they needed to have a planet. One, it had to be round. Two, it had to orbit the sun. And three, it needed to clear all the rubble from its surrounding area. Ever since astronomers discovered all the dwarf planets that were orbiting around the neighborhood of Pluto, they decided that Pluto is no longer a planet since it did not clear the area around where it orbited. But now, nearly eight years after Pluto's rejection from the solar system, it might be making a comeback. On September 18th, 2014, the Harvard Department of Astrophysics decided to reopen the question of what is a planet. Harvard's department brought in three experts to debate the situation. Dr. Owen Gingrich, Dr. Gareth Williams, and Dr. Dimitar Salsalov. Gingrich argued that a planet is a culturally defined word that changes over time, meaning that the definition of a planet might be different today than it was 20 years ago. And Dr. Dimitar Salsalov said that a planet is the smallest spherical lump of matter that has formed around stars or stellar remnants. Since Pluto is obviously a small spherical lump of matter that has orbited around the sun for about the past 4.5 billion years, give or take a couple millennia, then it obviously passes that criteria for a planet. Dr. Gareth Williams, however, says that Pluto still is not a planet because it has not cleared the area around its orbit with its many moons and many dwarf planets in the same neighborhood, so it is still not considered a planet in his opinion. However, when they took a vote on whether or not Pluto should be a planet, Gingrich and Sasolov both voted yes, and Williams voted no, which is obviously a two-to-one victory for Pluto. In July 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft will finally get to Pluto and take the first clear picture ever that we have of the planet. Or the planet, whatever you want. In August 2015, the IAU, or International Space Union, They're going to be meeting in Honolulu to further discuss whether or not Pluto should be considered a planet. So stay tuned until then, we have about another 10 months of waiting before we can figure out if Pluto truly is a planet. Thanks for watching.